Hello YouTube viewers. Um, got a little project I was finishing up. I got off work early a little today. Um, so I decided to um, make the circuit I was working on this weekend uh, semi-permanent so I can start programming it. I, I just really wanted to make sure everything was going to work out. I had a little bit of noise going on on the breadboard and, and that's pretty common when stuff sits on a breadboard and you start working with tank circuits and whatnot. Uh, anyways, today I have a uh, the makings of an inductance meter here. Um, I got the idea from Alan off of off YouTube. It's W two A E W Alan. I really actually recommend, and I'll link this in on my blog blog article. Going back and uh, watching his video because he does a great job of explaining his circuit and and I understand I understand tank circuits but uh, I just don't don't explain things as well as him for for sure so here let me back up this a little bit here um, the idea here is to find the inductance of unknown inductors here's my uh, you know unknown inductor I actually know what the inductance is but it's what I'm using for an inductor in his circuit he's using an oscilloscope to find inductance with a uh, known capacitor, and he does uh, the other way, and and that and that's not really me. Um, I don't want to break out a an oscilloscope every time. I want to find out the inductance of an unknown inductor. So I figured, okay, great, great project, Alan. I mean, it was awesome. You really should check it out. And if that's the way you want to do it, you should do it. But I figured what I could do is I could I could send the pulse out of his um, his hex inverter his fast rise time hex inverter just like he does and I'm going to measure for that first positive pulse back and, and there's my time and that's how he calculates it he does all the math from there what I figure I would do is I would sit there and use a comparator to look for that first pulse and then just have the microcontroller do all the math um, and that's what I did so uh, he had his his little uh, 74HC14 set up as an oscillator. I didn't do that. I have my um, pick microcontroller here. It's a 16F1509. This is a, another Totic, uh, Jason Totic, T-A-U-T-I-C, um, 20 pin dev board. I bought that off Tindy. I got a bunch of them because I just, again, I, I like them. But uh, And then I just grabbed a little sample code and I was using this just to test my OLED LCD here I got. Um, I don't actually do any of the math yet, but so right now I'm just sending, I have a loop, I'm pulsing an output. Now the rise time on the pick's a little slow for what uh, the circuit needed, so I did use a 74HC14. From there I'm really just sending a real quick pulse out to my tank circuit here that's an uh, inductor and a capacitor in parallel. Uh, from there back I just read it back. Um, it's actually not that wire. It's one of these green wires. I measure that back into my comparator. Now the comparator just outputs based on two two inputs. Uh, it's it's comparing. It's um, what it's doing. So I have a uh, a trimmer potentiometer here that's being used as a voltage divider. That's that's feeding into my negative input of my comparator, and then the output from the um, the tank circuit um, is feeding into the positive. Then all I have to do, uh, actually it's working right now, this is it here, it's coming back, this is my tank circuit here, this is um, the pulse and I'm just using that for triggering purposes. Uh, but that comes back, all I have to do is do the math. So right now it's working as it should. I, I did the math, I have about 38 kilohertz um, it's actually coming out uh, the ringing on the on the tank circuits 38 kilohertz. I can do the math from there, and I have uh, 213 micro henrys. It says now this guy here is 250 micro henrys, and and really, it, it, I don't know. You know, that's based on a certain frequency. Um, how you know? I also don't know really how accurate this capacitor is here. I'll probably go and, and get a friend of mine that can actually measure a, a good capacitor for me and put that in there and work out the circuit from there. I might have a couple that I switch through, something along those lines. I really haven't figured that part out yet or haven't even decided what I want to do. 
uh, so uh, also um, uh, the the frequency here you can look it up yourself but you just have to do a little math it's uh, frequency equals 1 over 2 pi uh, square root LC so you know, a little bit of algebra and you can figure out for inductance from there um, other than that that's it um, I really recommend actually looking into the theory Alan does a really good job of that and um, it's it's a great video hopefully I'll finish up here all I have to do again is actually measure back the pulses which I'm already getting back into it I just need to do the math and throw it out on display uh, I'll go and, and get a, a an actual very accurate known um, capacitor so that I can throw that into my my math so uh, thanks for watching again.